hello everyone welcome to today's class so today we are going to discuss on the topic of mastering the interview sessions or mastering the interview process okay so in this topic we are going to cover some of the topics that is um, that will be very important for the people who are going to face the interview or who are preparing for the interview it will be helpful for them so we are just going to discuss three to four topics which you need to take care of before going to the interview or when you are going to the interview you need to take care of it or you need to take into them into the consideration okay so let's start so first thing is preparation so despite of let's say any of the topics uh, maybe it is SAP related to SAP or not related to SAP related to any SAP module let's say MM, WM, SD or FICO or any kind of modules are there you are preparing for first thing and foremost thing very important thing is the preparation phase okay so preparation in the preparation phase you have to prepare the whole topic you don't have to leave any of the topic unattended okay if you are working already or you are starting your career for all of you it is very important that you need to practice and you need to prepare on the whole topic okay let's say for the SAP MM whatever the topics are let's say uh, the p2p cycle let's say the master data let's say the transactional data let's say the uh, inventory management let's say the purchasing cycle let's say the uh, vendor evaluation process let's say the um, any any kind of uh, let's say business processes are there so you need to be practicing or you need to be preparing on the whole topic and uh, preparing means you need to prepare on 100% okay so you need to prepare a lot of it okay you need to be confident on uh, confident of it so that whenever you are going to the interview there will be no question like you don't know the topic or you have no experience or no exposure to that in the interview you must have to prepare on the topic so all of the topics and all of the related questions are available at our youtube channel so you can just get it from there in the interview preparation playlist from there you can get all the questions and you can find the answers in the playlist also okay and uh, if you are going for the analytical questions let's say scenario based questions so you can uh, go for any kind of mooc interviews are available in the channel so there you can go and uh, you can check it out so uh, mooc interviews will be helpful for you if you are going for any kind of interview uh, sessions in the near future okay so this was the preparation first uh, this was the preparation phase so in the preparation definitely you have to prepare very good or well in the subjective point so we are not going to discuss about the subjective point you have to prepare on it second thing is the introduction part so introduction is a very important point or important part of your um, interview process so if your interview if your introduction goes well let's say you are having a very good introduction you have um, showcased your experiences or showcased your profile in a way that uh, it matches with the um, like job profile okay so let's say the job profile is you should have worked on an implementation project you should wor uh, have worked on a support project you must have worked on the p2p cycle uh, you have worked on experience with the let's say inventory process so let's say these are the some points have been mentioned in the um, JD section job description section so in the introduction you have to tell it in a way so that these topics will be added in your should be added to your curriculum that you have worked on these cases so that it will be giving a positive feedback or positive impression on the interviewer that whatever people or what kind of candidates they are looking for there you are the person okay next one is so you need to prepare on the introduction you have to prepare let's say just note down one introduction okay so everyone should have a different kind of introduction so you can prepare your own introduction in that you can uh, 
uh, include all of your let's say educational background your work experiences your family background your uh, work exposure your working area so everything you can include in that so you just have to practice and revise it for three four times or a couple of times uh, so that you will be comfortable saying in that it should not be look like you have uh, just uh, uh, let's say uh, memorized it okay so it it, it just uh, it should look like that you have like the experience um, in a like um, it, it is a visual memory on you that uh, you have um, like you are going to explain the um, introduction very well okay so that's the basically the outcome or that is what is needed okay so next one is you need to have a positive attitude okay so right now um, uh, the interviews are happening uh, let's say as a online mode or uh, let's say it is happening on the video calls okay so maybe uh, with the video call or maybe uh, a face to face interview not a problem but normally whenever you are going for an interview if it is a video session so just keep the eye contact okay so if you are answering to the interviewer uh, just don't look uh, here and there just uh, have a eye contact with the interviewer uh, this will show your confidence okay positive attitude and confidence this will show that you know the topic you know the answers okay second thing it's better to have a smile on your face okay so uh, if you are putting a smile so it's a, a let's say put a small smile okay not uh, a larger one or a laughter one okay so that will uh, have a negative impact so just put on a smile okay simple smile it will be very good it will show your positive attitude towards the uh, um, towards the interview okay so last one is confidence so confidence is how you will get the confidence so confidence you will be getting if you know the subject very well if you know the questions if you know the answers then you should you will look confident on the interview okay so for that you need to prepare very well that we have covered in the first topic or first segment we have discussed you have to prepare well on the topic and uh, second thing whatever things you are getting asked just try to answer them if you don't know the answer you can say no no i have not worked on it or uh, you can say anything but uh, while answering you just have to put a smile on your face and just answer that okay so there will be no issue that uh, you don't know some of the topics okay it should not but it should not be the case that uh, whatever interviewer is asking 70 percent of it or more than 50 percent of it you can you are saying that i don't know the topic okay so you just have to take care about that okay so one two topic or one to two questions if you are saying that you have not worked on it or you don't have any exposure on to that so that is a not an issue it can be managed okay so that will be all about the interview sessions okay and uh, confidence also if you are practicing very well then you can uh, be confident in the interview if you know all the topics so if you are interested for the mock interview sessions which will make you like it uh, it will be act as a like reference for your uh, practical interview or real interview if you are interested for that then you can enroll yourself okay just uh, ping me on whatsapp and uh, you can just uh, let me know if you are interested for the mock interview sessions so uh, for last couple of few weeks um, some people or uh, some guys they have asked me for the mock interview but uh, unfortunately i was little bit busy on the other things so that's why i was not able to take the mooc interview so uh, now onwards you can uh, ask for the mooc interview session if you are interested if you are going for any kind of interviews in the future so it will be um, two things you will be getting from it first thing you will be getting some confidence over it that you know some of the topics and second thing you will be getting checked what things you know and what things you need to know to crack the interview so this will be helping you on these two things so that's it for today so we will be meeting again on a new session or new class till then bye bye and take care